chosen brothers and sisters i have this powerful amazing word for you the word is support will come during the fight when your hands are too heavy trust in god and do not give into the enemy brothers and sisters i do believe some of you are in a fight right and now an intense fight a fight that never seems to stop and you are so weary you are so tired you feel like giving up it is too much for you there is a lot of pain around you but my brothers and sisters support will come during the fight in other words help is on its way and god is the only one that can help you god can help you in many ways god can use those who are around you to help you to bless you to be a blessing to you to speak a word that will bless you to give help to you to render help to you god can use even someone who's far away someone even you don't know about to help you god can bring into your life destiny help us may god help you may god rescue you may god deliver you from this thing that you're going through my brothers and sisters my brothers and sisters i want to read to you a scripture that is going to be a blessing to you it is in the book of exodus chapter 17 verse 8 to 13. i repeat exodus chapter 17 verse 8 to 13. and it reads now amalek came and fought with israel in rephidim and moses said to joshua choose us some men and go out fight with amalek tomorrow i will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of god in my hand so joshua did as moses said to him and fought with amalek and moses and aaron and he went up to the top of the hill and so it was when moses held up his hand that israel prevailed and when he laid down his hand amalek prevailed but moses hand became heavy so they took a stone and put it under him and he sat on it and aaron and hugh supported his hands one on one side and the other on the other side and his hands were steady until the going down of the sun so joshua defeated amalek and the and his people with the edge of his sword they defeated amalek, amalek with the edge of their sword now remember my brothers and sisters this scripture comes from a point where uh, the children of israel had an enemy in fact not only one enemy they had enemies all around themselves all around them but for this case there was an enemy by the name of amalek who came and fought with them some of you an enemy has decided to fight you it is the enemy who starts up war who wages war against you some of you your house is in danger your relationships are in danger your health is in danger the enemy is fighting against you in each and every area of your life some of your relationships are no longer desirable to look at you have been frustrated even your health it seems like you are struggling in life but i declare and decree that whoever has waged war against you may they be disappointed in the name of jesus you will overcome now moses speaks to joshua and Hugh and tells them to go and fight against Amalek. Remember, Moses told them to go 
Moses had other plans. He knew where the battle, the real battle is. He told them to go and fight against their enemies physically. And he told them that tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand. So as they were fighting, Moses was on the hill. What was Moses doing on the hill? The scriptures clearly tells what Moses was doing on the hill. What Moses was doing in, in, in verse 11 says, And so it was when Moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed. And when he laid down his hand, Amalek prevailed. The real battlefield was in holding up the hands. Was in Moses holding up his hands. Some of you, the battlefield may not just the, the real battle, the real war is not physical. It is in the spiritual realm. Moses knew where the real battle is. Brothers and sisters, choose, choose today to pray. Pray without ceasing. You need to reach to a moment where you hold up your hands and pray. To a carnal mind, they will think that it's just fighting against your enemy. But to Moses, what an understanding of the spiritual things. He knew that it was just in holding, lifting up his hands to God. Because some of you, you do realize that when you lift up your hands, it's a sign of surrender. That you are surrendering everything to God. That you cannot do it on your own. That you are nothing without God. Moses knew the strategy. Now, the scripture says, uh, but Moses' hands became heavy, so that they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it, and Aaron and Hugh supported his hands. They supported his hands. Now, Aaron and Hugh realized, oh, oh, wait a minute. This is where the real battle is. Moses is fighting the real battle. So they decided to support him. To hold up his hands. And even place the stone. Brothers and sisters, I pray that God gives you wisdom. God gives you knowledge about your enemies. That you may defeat them. May God give you the wisdom. To overcome each and every enemy. Brothers and sisters. Support is coming. God will send destiny help. Remember that Moses could not do it on his own. Despite the fact that Moses knew where the battle is, he could not do it on his own. He couldn't. He needed support. He needed help. Some of you have knowledge of how to defeat your enemy. But you, could not, you, you may not be able to do it on your own. So you need people to help you. That's why you see, I pray, I, I release this, uh, my, my email address, so that if someone needs prayer, you send in your prayer request. So that I pray with you. You need someone to pray for you. You need someone to pray with you. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the end of this message. Until next time, God bless you.